Hey guys, it's Maj D. And before we move on, real quick, I would love to say thank you for watching my videos. Thanks for liking, thanks for sharing, thanks for commenting, and thanks for subscribing. So you're welcome to the Snapdragon 8 5 Plus versus Apple A13 Bounty Chipset comparison. In this video, I will thoroughly discuss major points on both processors, including the CPU, the GPU, artificial intelligence and machine learning, camera compatibility, and modem. So let's get started. In the area of CPU, the Snapdragon 865 Plus brings the fastest CPU seen in any Android smartphone, clocking 3.1 GHz frequency for the first time. And why the Apple 813 Bionic chipset has an Ezra-core processor, the Snapdragon 865 Plus is with an octa-core processor. The number of performance cores is surely less in the Apple 813 Bionic chipset. However, they have been manufactured based on the in-house Apple architecture, which is expected to be better than ARM's Cortex A76 or A77, found in the Snapdragon 865 Plus. In the single core performance of both chips, the Apple A13 Bounty chip exceeded its driver, but in multi-core performance, then they are almost neck and neck. When it comes to the GPU, the Adreno 650 brings an elite gaming experience support for 144Hz refresh rate display and also draws 35% less power from its predecessor. However, that does not change Apple's standing. Apple designs its own GPU and it comes with four cores. But the distinctive part about A13's GPU is that it delivers 20% more performance by drawing 40% less power in comparison to its predecessor. In terms of artificial intelligence and machine learning, Snapdragon 865 Plus is far ahead of Apple's A13 Bionic chip. With the Exagon 698 DSP, the Snapdragon 865 Plus packs in a tensor accelerator that can deliver 15 trillion AI operations per second without breaking a sweat. Sadly, the 8-course neural engine on the A13 Bionic is only capable of 1 trillion AI operations per second. When it comes to camera capability, the Spectra 480 image signal processor in the Snapdragon S5 Plus can shoot 8K videos at 30 frames per second and can take images of up to 200 megapixels. That's not all, you can also take 960 frames per second slow motion videos at HD quality. But with the Apple 13 Bionic chip, but with the Apple 13 Bionic chip, you can only take super steady 4K videos at 60 frames per second with HDR. In modern section, the Snapdragon 865 Plus outrightly wins against Apple 813 Bionic chip because it comes with the next generation S55 5G model, which is way faster than the Intel modem found with the 813 Bionic chip. Now, let's come to the conclusion. Somehow, it looks like the Snapdragon 865 Plus is still an inch away of the 830 Bionic chip in terms of CPU and GPU capability. However, in areas of artificial intelligence and machine learning, Qualcomm has done tremendously well and leapfrogged at least a generation ahead of the Apple 813 Bionic chipset. Okay, I understand that some of you are Apple fanboys, others Android, but I tried to give an honest comparison here. But before you start dragging me, let's talk in the comment section. And also, a sub to the channel will be so much appreciated. It's my G, thanks for watching. Hope to catch you guys in my next one.